Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. I want to make a real quick video. This is a 2002. It's a Honda, uh, excuse me, it's a Honda Odyssey. It's got the 3.5 liter. Okay, now this vehicle uh, came in from another shop. Like a lot of my vehicles come in from other shops when their mechanics can't figure out what's going on with it. So they send them to me. Anyways, this vehicle came from another shop and they did a valve adjustment on it. And after the valve adjustment, uh, it had misfires <clears throat> so uh, specifically cylinder number one and cylinder number four so excuse me cylinder number one and cylinder number four were misfiring um, and so I kind of went around with this one I, I, I tried to check I checked compression I did an injector balance test I readjusted the valves because their valve adjustment was a little bit off um, so after I did the valve adjustment uh, it took care of some noise that was happening uh, in the valve you know underneath the, the valve covers um, but it didn't fix the misfire. Uh, now here's the here's the part about the misfire is the misfire was only during cruising during cruising speed. Uh, during idle, it wouldn't misfire. It would only misfire when I'm cruising about you know 20, 30 miles an hour, uh, especially during acceleration. Uh, it would start to misfire. So that's the key here is that the misfire is only happening during cruising speeds. And what I did is I correlated it to the EGR valve opening. So what, we, what you're going to want to do is take the scan tool and pull up your misfire counters and pull up the uh, EGR uh, command PID. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch when the EGR valve opens. And you notice that when the EGR valve open, opens is when the misfire starts. That's a clear indication that the problem has to do with EGR flow. Um, you can check the EGR valve. There's a technical service bulletin on that. Uh, one of the tricks that I like to do is unplug the EGR valve and take it for a test drive again. And if the misfires go away, then we, we can narrow it down to that system. And that's exactly what happened here. Now let me show you what the main problem is. The problem is not with the EGR valve, nor was it with the EGR port because uh, I talked to the previous mechanic and he said he actually cleaned the EGR port because previously it had an EGR flow code. Um, so here's where the actual problem is. The problem is in this plenum cover. So you remove these bolts and pull this plenum cover off. Me do that it's still kind of hot so i'm gonna pull this cover off and what i want you to notice is that there's a gasket here now it may not seem important but this gasket is actually really important because what it does is it has uh these squares here to direct the flow of egr gases and it's very simple to install it the wrong way and you would never know unless you know uh, specifically that this is supposed to go here and not there. So this is what the problem was. The last technician did the valve adjustment and uh, when he put this gasket back, he didn't put the gasket on correctly. So this is the correct way that the gasket goes. Uh, and if you're reusing the gasket, pay attention to, uh, you can see the, the mark that this uh, that this cover left behind it left it imprinted on this gasket so that'll let you know that this is the way the gasket went so the problem here is like I said the tech previous technician did a valve adjustment and in order to remove the intake manifold he had to remove this plenum cover uh, to remove these bolts and in putting it back together he reinstalled the gasket incorrectly and that's what was causing our uh, uneven EGR flow to cylinders number one and number four and that's what was causing our misfire uh, during cruising speed um, so hopefully uh, this video helps somebody uh, stay tuned I have some more videos uh, with some other vehicles uh, so uh, hit like subscribe um, and thanks a lot for watching guys